who beat him. Um, he was living with his grandmother by the time he was in his teens. He then discovers that, in fact, his, his stepfather isn't his biological father, something he never knew until then. He uh, was in trouble with the police a lot as a teenager. By the time he gets to L.A., he's kind of burned all his bridges, and he's in L.A. to, to fight the world, to reinvent himself. And absolutely, this, this kid comes with a lot of emotional baggage. But you know what, Buzz? A lot of us have had real tough upbringings, mm -hmm. and I think our hearts would go out to Axel, and we'd give him, be able to give him more help and more love if he could just admit that he's just like the rest of us and can make a mistake and, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and needs other people. We all need other people. He had a great thing going with Slash and Duff. If you've ever met Slash, Duff and Izzy, you never met more three more easygoing guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of why Axel ended up with the name. The others were so easygoing, they let him get away with it because they thought it would make him happy. I don't think of Axel as a happy guy. No, I don't know how you could. Um, if you've got a second, I, I see you have a, a new book. It just came out about Led Zeppelin. Can you tell us ab about that? Yes, I can. I'm, I'm very proud about this book, Buzz. It's called When Giants Walk the Earth. It's just come out here in the UK as a, uh, in a hardcover, and I'm absolutely delighted to say it's getting amazing reviews, uh, amazing reviews. Everybody's calling it the definitive all-time greatest book about Zeppelin ever, which is beyond my wildest dreams. It's coming out in the US in the spring, um, it'll be published by St. Martin's Press, who also published War, the Axel book. And um, it took me years to, to write the Zeppelin book. I've known Jimmy Page for over 20 years, Robert, John Paul. I met John Bonham back in the day. I know his son, Jason. At uh, one time, Peter Grant um, uh, wanted me to write his official biography. We were all set to go when, unfortunately, Peter died. I've worked with Richard Cole. I know all the guys extremely well and have worked with Zeppelin on and off for 20 years. And um, I've always wanted to write the book because apart from Hammer of the Gods, which is a, a wonderful book, but a kind of a fairy tale, really, uh, based on just a few interviews and, and written in a very sensationalist style, which was fantastic for the time, but in no way really got to grips with the full unbelievable Zeppelin story I really wanted there to be a book about Zeppelin that did that like you have on Dylan, like you have on the Stones Yeah. there's never been one finally I decided I'm at that age where I'm just going to have to do it myself <laughs> And um, so I spent a couple years researching it and nearly a year writing it, and it nearly killed me Buzz but <laughs> now it's here um, I couldn't be more delighted, and, and, and thankfully the readers and the critics seem to feel the same way. So uh, the U.S. are going to get a chance to see their version of the book, which will uh, probably have more updated material than the U.K. version in the new year. Well, we'll be looking forward to that. I'll be looking forward to getting, getting a copy of that. And I don't know, maybe you need to do something lighter next, maybe like an Anne Murray biography or something to cleanse the palate. <laughs> you need to cleanse the palate. It's so buzz. <laughs> Thanks for taking time to talk to us, especially from uh, such a great distance. And thank you so much, Mick. Have a good one. My pleasure. Cheers, Buzz. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.